Maria Felix, known as La Dona, was not only a celebrated actress, but also a fashion icon. She wore clothes of esteemed designers such as Dior and Balenciaga, while also indulging in exquisite Cartier jewellery. With her wealth amassed from her successful career and marriages, she traversed between Mexico and France. During her time in Paris, she frequented Cartier, where she acquired jewellery crafted by the renowned designer Jean Toussaint. So let's explore the most famous jewellery of Maria Felix. Before we start, please support my channel by clicking like and subscribe buttons. And if you wish to support me financially, you can do it via the super thanks button on YouTube or become my patron on Patreon. Link is in the description. Snake Necklace It's evident that Maria Felix felt a deep affinity for snakes, drawn to the symbolism of creativity, wisdom, and strength that these creatures embody. Throughout her adult life, she adorned herself with snake jewellery as a reflection of this connection. Around 1966, she embarked on a visit to the Cartier flagship in Paris, commissioning a serpent necklace that matched the size of a real snake. Cartier embarked on a meticulous two-year journey to bring her vision to life. A significant portion of the crafting process was dedicated to engineering the platinum and gold armature within the design, ensuring full flexibility. Master craftsmen then meticulously adorned the serpent's body with a dazzling array of 2,473 brilliant and baguette-cut diamonds, totaling 178.21 carats. The scales on the snake's underside were embellished with vibrant green, black, and red enamel as a tribute to the colors of the Mexican flag. Maria Felix had a specific vision for the necklace. She desired the serpent to exude a sense of menace, with a head that could lift up as if ready to strike. Upon encountering the necklace displayed passively on a pillow, she voiced her discontent to Pierre Reynaud expressing that the serpent was meant to be assertive, not passive. In photos, Maria effortlessly showcases the necklace's flexibility, spinning it over her head with ease. This remarkable feat is a testament to the goldsmith's craftsmanship, creating an artifact capable of violent rotation while retaining its elegance. Through her jewellery, Maria Felix seamlessly blended her personal taste with elements of Central American cultural tradition, embodying the spirit of Mexico. This convergence of cultural influences was perfectly complemented by Cartier's approach to jewellery, led by the visionary director of the creative studio, Jean Toussaint. Crocodile Necklace In 1975, Felix embarked on a commission for what would become her most extraordinary reptilian jewel, a double crocodile necklace. The captivating tale surrounding its design suggests that La Dona strolled into Cartier accompanied by a live baby crocodile, serving as her muse. While the authenticity of this anecdote remains debatable, it undoubtedly speaks to the star's bold persona and the remarkable realism captured in the crocodile's skin, known as scutes, adorning the jewel. Cartier, embracing creative liberty, adorned the yellow gold crocodiles with an array of gems. One crocodile dazzles with 1,023 brilliant cut fancy intense yellow diamonds, totaling 60.02 carats, while the vet-shaped emerald cabochons gleam as its eyes. Its counterpart is adorned with 1,060 emeralds, weighing 66.86 carats, with ruby cabochons adding a fiery gaze. Remarkably articulated, the two crocodiles can be worn separately as brooches, each measuring just under a foot in length. While the design is credited to Gabriel Rayton by author Hans Nadelhofer, it undeniably bears the hallmark of Cartier's bold yet refined aesthetic. The Commission's purpose beyond Felix's passion for reptiles remains shrouded in mystery. 
Upon completion, Felix was so enamoured with the jewel that she toasted the craftsman at Cartier with champagne. In the accompanying image, Felix is adorned stature, and the jewels she wears exude a palpable love for reptiles, underscoring her penchant for grandeur and imposing jewels as integral components of her distinctive style. Ashoka Diamond According to legend, a rough diamond was unearthed decades ago in Golconda, India, eventually transformed into a stunning 41.37 carat D flawless gem. Named after the revered Indian emperor and Buddhist, Ashoka Maurya, the Ashoka Diamond is believed to possess the extraordinary ability to dispel sorrow and instill joy. Renowned actress Maria Felix acquired the original Ashoka Diamond. In 1988, Sotheby's orchestrated the sale of this remarkable stone to an undisclosed buyer for a staggering $3.85 million, marking it as the second highest price ever paid for a white diamond at auction at that time. Since then, it has remained veiled in secrecy, its whereabouts unknown. When the legendary diamond tear William Goldberg first beheld the Ashoka, he was captivated. Over the ensuing years, he devoted himself to studying and refining its cut, ultimately securing an exclusive patent in 1999 to produce Ashoka cut diamonds. Renowned for its distinctive faceting pattern, the Ashoka cut creates a mesmerizing optical effect, imparting a heightened brilliance and a perceived size increase of up to 30% compared to an emerald cut diamond of the same carat weight. Panther Bracelet The tale of Maria Felix's relationship with Cartier commenced with her acquisition of pieces from their existing stock, particularly drawn to the renowned Panther Collection, which became famous with the creation of a commissioned brooch for the Duchess of Windsor. However, as Maria's tastes evolved, she transitioned to commissioning custom pieces that reflected her distinct style and vision, particularly with a focus on panthers portrayed in unique and dynamic attitudes. In the 1960s, Maria Felix commissioned a design featuring two overlapping panthers, which would later become iconic. This bold and innovative concept inspired a plethora of similar designs featuring two-headed panthers, a motif that continues to captivate even in contemporary jewellery creations. In 2007, Christie's hosted an auction featuring a collection of items once owned by Maria Felix. Among these treasures were several pieces of jewellery, some of which you can now view on your screen. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to support my channel 
by clicking like and subscribe buttons.